keeping up with the latest technology has become important for a lot of people, even all around the world. Mm -hmm. Some local students are at the forefront of coming up with new technology, helping people in many different fields of work. Education reporter Art McFarlane explains how. Each of the callers this technology could, could someday ensure that emergency responders always have a good cell phone signal with a single device that manages the signals of multiple cell phone carriers. So there's no drop calls, there's no uh, need to reinitiate uh, uh, network sessions. Uh, if you're downloading an application, you don't have to restart that application as you're losing coverage. The Stevens Institute of Technology runs an incubator for cutting-edge technology like this invented by students or faculty. We build things and we turn things uh, that solve problems into products. A 3D scanning device called CAD eyes could change the way surveys are done in planning for construction or landscaping projects. The number of scans you're taking uh, are a lot larger than the existing technology today. Undergrads develop technology that will make it possible for the very few doctors in remote areas of Africa where there is no internet service to send important patient information to the nearest hospitals. We hope that the technicians that have the software on their laptop are able to um, travel to the villages and diagnose the patients there. Administrators here at Stevens tell us that this kind of technology, some of which is being sold, represents the perfect marriage between academics and real-world innovation that can be used in the marketplace. A Stevens startup company called ID8 is being sold as a digital version of the company's suggestion box. I think it could be uh, a dramatic change in how organizations innovate and, and uh, come up with new ideas. And Stevens is banking on the notion that corporations want engineers with new ideas. Art McFarland, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Wow. Interesting stuff.